One time in Florence visiting family, my Italian cousin crashed into a tree. On the long walk back, I started thinking about the physics of the situation. So let's assume that he was going 36 kilometers per hour. It took 0.4 seconds for the tree to bring him to a stop. And the car, plus passengers, has a mass of 450 kilograms. Well, we want to know what is the average force that he experienced. Now, let's first convert the, uh, the speed 36 kilometers. Here, I'll put it up here. 36 kilometers per hour. Let's convert that into uh, meters per second. So here's the conversion factor. Well, there's uh, 1,000 meters per kilometer. Kilometers cancel. And now we have 36,000 meters per hour. So one more step to get it into seconds. Well, I know for every hour, there's 3,600 seconds. And uh, now the hours cancel. And if I do this, I get 10 meters per second. 36,000 divided by 3,600 is 10. Great, so now we know the speed in terms of meters per second. What about finding the average force? Well, the average force in a collision is equal to the change in momentum of the one object, in this case the car, divided by the amount of time that it took, uh, the, the amount of time of the collision. In this case, the amount of time it took for the tree to bring the car to a stop. Well, the change in momentum, that's just P prime minus P initial. The change in time we have up here is 0 0.4 seconds. And we know that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. And therefore, we have the mass times the final velocity minus the mass times the initial velocity divided by 0 0.4 seconds. Well, the car came to a stop, so the final velocity is 0, and therefore 0 times m is 0, so this whole term is just 0. So plugging in for the mass and the initial velocity, I have 450 kilograms times 10 meters per second all divided by 0 0.4 seconds. Great. Well, if I multiply this out, I get uh, 4,500 divided by 0.4, and that equals 11,250 newtons. Now, how do I know it's a newton? Well, if we do the units on the side here in green, I have a kilogram meter per second divided by seconds. That's kilogram meters per second squared, and that is a, a, a newton by definition. Great, so that's the, oops, what did I forget here? Ah, minus sign. So that is the force that my cousin experienced. Well, we can write it right here. 11,000, let's erase this, we know momentum is mv, 11,250 newtons. Now, what about the force that the tree experienced? Well, if this is part A and part B, all we have to do is use Newton's third law. For every force, there's an equal but opposite reaction force. And therefore, the tree, if the tree imparted a force of, of 11,250 Newtons in this direction, then the car must have imparted the same force on the tree in the opposite direction. So that's done. And now what about part C? How many g's of acceleration did he experience? Well, first let's find the acceleration. Acceleration is equal to the total force divided by the uh, mass. So in this case, the total force is 11,250 newtons, and the mass is 400 kilograms, and that is equal to uh, 
negative 25. The negative sign, again, just tells you the direction. Meters per second squared. And using the fact that the acceleration of gravity is about 10 meters per second squared, he experienced 2.5 g's of acceleration to the right. There you go.